Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a flip through and show you all the books that I have of Linda Ravencroft's fairy and fantasy art paint and coloring books. I was uh, asked to show them all, so I'm going to show you them. There are a couple of pages that are missing and I'll have to put those in when I uh, get to the books. They're framed or given away. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start off with the very first book. Then I'm going to set everybody aside and then we'll do them in order so you'll know which ones are which. So this is the first one. And we'll do a quick little flip through here. I'll have some of these that are colored in and some that are not. They're one-sided, spiral bound, every one of them, on very thick, thick paper. So if I colored a page, you get to see them, <laughs> if they're still in the book. Very thick paper, like I said, you sometimes think you're turning two or three, but you're only turning one. You can use watercolor, Copic markers, any other markers. It won't really bleed through the paper, but it's always a good idea to put another piece of paper behind there. I've used Distress Ink, um, Copic, watercolors, just about everything I can think of in here. Love the paper in these books. A little bit of bleed through there, if you can see that. That is from the Copic markers I used on her skin. But that's as much as it bleeds through, really. Some really beautiful artwork in here. This is an Alice in Wonderland <laughs> page. That's so cool. Seen that one colored. Seen a lot of these colored, I should just say. <laughs> that one's so cute. Having a little cup of tea. And there you go. Last page. Cover here. So that is the first book. Okay, book number two. I am currently working in this book, so you will see a work in progress. That's the front cover page that we did a while back. This one was fun. Distressing background on that. <laughs> Dragon. This is the one we are currently working on. That is the um, spillage of the uh, Copic markers. And it did bleed through a little here on this page. My fault, I did not put a piece of paper behind there. And I did put a lot of um, Copics on this side, trying to fix a problem we had here. <laughs> if you watch that video, you'll know. <laughs> It's a gorgeous book, though. I believe there are 14 pages in every book. I'm kind of guessing that because I did take some pages out of my books, so... Some have less than that. <laughs> my fault. Yep. So that is book number two. Book number three. Cover page. I love that one. It's so whimsical and cute. Mushroom houses. This one is very detailed, but probably absolutely gorgeous when it's done. They each have a name down here, so you can look them up on uh, Linda's um, page, too, and see how she has colored them in. The 
this one I did, I believe, with the Tombow markers. And mm, I don't even know if that's a Distress Ink background or if I did that with markers also. Just got a couple sets of those and I'm having fun with them. And that's the end of that one. Oh, here I'll show you. No bleed through on the Tombow markers. They're water based. So that was book number three. Book number four. Print cover artwork. It's gorgeous. My little owl page. <laughs> I think I did that all in distress ink. Dragon. Love this page too. They're just all pretty pages. There we go. Knew there was one in there. This one I did with a lot of watercolor, and there's a tiny little warping in the page, but not much. And there you go. Book number four. Book number five. There's a couple of these type of pages in them. They're all different uh, autumn, spring, summer, winter. They're cool. <laughs> so you could uh, do each one of those and frame them and put a bump on your wall or one for each season. That one's pretty too. All those roses. Oh, I haven't done that dragon yet. <laughs> Oops. Pick that up. Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Another one that's pretty ornate. I love that though. It's going to be really pretty down up. Little Sentinel. And that's all that are in that one. We have book number six. Bad hair day. <laughs> Is it just one piece? Yeah. Did a couple of mushrooms. I think I was testing out colors. Well, this one's really cute. Can go either way if you wanted to frame that. That's the front cover. Oops, turn it again. <laughs> Is there one there? Okay. This has got a lot of little tiny details in it. Little guy here. Yeah, and that's the last page. And the last book I have is book number seven. There is one more after this. Um, I think it's Naughty Fairies or something. <laughs> 
I don't have that one. <laughs> One of the dragons. He's going to be fun to color. Jack Frost. I want to do that one too. <laughs> I love these books. I think they are so fun to play with. And you can get away with a lot of different mediums in them. Queen of Summer. Annie Oak. <laughs> Enchantress. Isn't she gorgeous? And there we go. Last page. And I will um, put in pictures of the ones that aren't in the books. I don't remember what books they come out of, but <laughs> uh, I'll leave a picture down at the end of the video. So yeah, that is all the books that I have. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. If you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comment section down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Take care, everyone. Bye now.